everyone, it's Shanna Lee here. Yes, it's July 2014 and I'm finally just getting my December Daily video finished. I actually kept up with Ali Edwards till about day 15 and then life just got too busy and I didn't actually finish my album till probably early February. Um, so I'm just going to dive straight in and show you my album. My cover, I read it and read it and read it until the point where I ended up ripping it and I lost the beautiful embossed look on the front. That was my favorite part of this album. So I'll give you a quick glimpse. There it is. I ended up having to paint the cover and it was just a mess. But anyway, I have a nice little pine cone and holly berries. My grandfather passed away <clears throat> the first of the month. So that is what begins my December daily. I kept up with Allie Edwards and I used a lot of her ideas from her website. So she gave a tutorial on how she did her cover page with a transparency and gold embossed wood veneer 25. 2013. So that's my cover. I inserted this as just a piece of cardstock that I laminated with packing tape and it has the first written here and about the funeral and I typed out his obituary here. <clears throat> also for most of the album all I used was the December Daily Studio Calico Kit so most of the things in here are from that and I already did a video on my process and my foundation pages so just didn't go ahead and enjoy looking this is the first and I'm not gonna bother scooching it back and forth or forward and side to side so I'm just gonna leave it like this it's, it's gonna cut off a little bit on each end but I think you get the idea I used a lot of Ali Edwards collages, um, a lot of her overlays. So this was us cutting down the tree. Uh, this was day two, the number there, and just decorating the tree, kids decorating the tree. This is actually a picture of me inside the ornament. I took a picture of myself. And this was a die cut that didn't come with the kit. I got that with the Miriam Bright kit. This is another one of the Allie Edwards Christmas collages. This is another one of her overlays. Writing letters to Santa. And if you look closely, that's printed right on the photo, the fourth. The fifth is right here. I did a collage. There's 12 photos, so I did that in Picasso. This is just a filler page. Then my two youngest boys had a concert. So that is the sixth. And there they are right there, wearing their matching outfits. Sorry for all the noise. I live in a small area, so there's lots of farm trucks that go by. This here, I added a flip pocket. Um, and this is another one of Allie Edwards 6x8 photo collages. The 7th. And we went to the Halifax Parade of Lights. And my son is obsessed with Minecraft, so there was a creeper in the parade, and <clears throat> they were more than willing to get their picture taken with him. And this is a craft they did at preschool with my two youngest, Lord of the Rings. We watched the full extended version on Blu-ray every Christmas 
my husband and I went to a banquet. Those are tickets. That was on the 8th. One of my favorite movies. Ninth, I took this picture out because there was a picture of my grandfather in there and I needed to get it copied. So I'm going to have to put that back in. This was the 10th. It was a Tuesday and the kids didn't have school that day because it was a snow day. So they were catching snowflakes on their tongue. The 11th was my oldest school concert. Yes, I have three boys, that's all. If you're wondering how many kids I have, I used an Allie Edwards collage, the 11th. And this is a transparency I made myself, glued that on there. This is a Tim Hortons cup that I drank hot chocolate out of. And I love the winter scene on it, so I just included that. And they put sprinkles on it. I also, Celine Dion, these are special times, best Christmas CD ever. This is a picture of Allie Edwards' um, products of the December Daily Kit. And I did this one myself, I just used my circle cutter and put all different aspects of the Studio Calico Kit in there. <clears throat> these were just slipped right in. Letters from Santa. Oh, and you probably noticed my cheesy red festive nails for July. <laughs> this is a transparency joy on the 13th. We made peanut butter balls. The 16th, we made a gingerbread house. So this is the village and the kids each did their own. And just pictures of the kids and a sticker here, nothing too fancy. I have a picture of the finished gingerbread house to go there. There's really not much here and as you can see it's the 17th and by this point I ran out of steam. So from here on in it's not as fancy as the beginning. So this is an overlay. Let's be merry and that's printed right on to my wrapping station. That was my fun little splurge this year. It hold, Right now, if you look at it, there's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Anyway, there's 20, over 20 different wrapping paper <laughs> designs in there. I just love wrapping paper. If I see a design I love, I have to buy it. So, that's my wrapping station. It has like labels, ribbon, tape, bows, so, oh, and it holds your scissors and pen. So. I loved my mat wrapping station. Um, and this was my son's 4-H craft ornament that he made. Another movie that we just love this time of year. The 19th. I wanted to blow this up into a 6x8, but for right now I just have a 4x6 of the tree. Then we took the kids to see Santa on the 20th. So that's what's written here, 20th. Um, this also um, is in a 5 by 7 Becky Higgins page protector that I just punched to fit in here. I still need to get the kids' professional picture and I have to order it in a 5 by 7. So that's what's going to go there. Right now it's just the 4 by 6. And here is the 21st, we were visiting my nanny, that was her husband that passed away in the um, beginning of the album. Um, I still have to journal here. Jesus is the reason for the season. This is my great aunt's house, my grandfather's sister. She has a Christmas tree in every room of her house. I think this year she had a total of 14 Christmas trees. And her house literally is just like Christmas Wonderland. That is her there. Another tree in the corner you can see. There's another tree here. In her bathroom, up the stairs, everywhere. Um, this is the 23rd. And we were getting ready to go to my parents' place to give them their Christmas gifts. This is an overlay. That's my mom. And the kids handing out the gifts to, eat to my parents. 
There's my dad feeling his present, trying to figure out what it is. And the kids looking at their gifts from my mom and dad. So my son was just measuring himself because he was so tall he couldn't figure out what it was. It ended up being one of the air hockey tables. So the kids are having fun with that now. And that's my sister. And he's passing her the gift. I wrapped a little twine from the kit here. And then we finally got to the 24th. And that's printed out on Allie Edwards' journaling cards. And it says, Twas the night before Christmas. It's a nice raised sticker with a cup of milk and cookies. I was too lazy to bake fresh cookies for Santa this year. So... We got the, I think it's Pillsbury, reindeer cookies, and then they're hanging up their stockings. And from here on in, it's just 4 by 6s I got a little photo heavy, so I really, I didn't want to lose any of my photos, so I just added some enamel dots. The kids are all excited for Christmas morning. They went to bed, so after they fell asleep, we put the gifts under the tree. So that's the 24th, and I just put on some ribbon stickers, Silent Night, this is just the tree already, bingo sticker I found online, or 4x6 card, and once the kids fall asleep, it's my husband's and my tradition, we cut up some fruit, and we melt a Toblerone bar, and we have our own little fondue and some wine. So that's our little tradition, and, and now we have the 25th, it's early in the morning, it's still dark, it was 6 o'clock when the kids woke up. And there's their excited expressions, they're jumping up and down, they're so excited. They're searching through the gifts, they're opening their stocking. We're just unwrapping presents. And their main gift, it was for all three of them, so it was a lot easier just to buy one thing, one bigger thing for all three of them, because when you have three boys, they share a lot of stuff, so we really didn't need a lot of extra toys. So we got a lot from, you know, aunts and uncles and my sisters and my parents and from you know people so this is from us it was a Thomas table and all three of them are opening together we just used a huge piece of wrapping paper and draped it over and put a big bow and tag in the center and the last page says Merry Christmas 2013 and that's the kids opening up the wooden tracks that go with the table so that is my December daily. Before I go, I have about a minute left. I will just tell you, I loved doing December daily. For next year, I'm definitely going to try and cut back. I feel like this is very cluttered. Um, it's very thick and bulky. I kind of wanted a chunky album. That's kind of what I was going for. Um, what else? Um, so I'll just tell you the pros. There was lots of variety. Um, with the kit, you don't have to think of what you're going to do. It doesn't take a lot to plan. You can't really go wrong by um, doing the December Daily Kit because everything you need is there. So it takes out all the guesswork. It's affordable. If you look at the kit, you might be kind of freaked out by the $99. But that does include shipping. It includes all your plastic pages, it includes your album, and everything in it. Um, oh, I'm running out of time. The cons, I found it quite time consuming. I really um, lost steam by the middle of the month. A lot of the people using this kit didn't use it strictly and didn't post it, so I didn't really feel like I got a lot of inspiration from other people since it was my first year doing December daily um, and it was kind of difficult printing pictures at home but anyway I will do another video for my plans for next year